Let us see the summary of The Lake Isle of Innisfree by William Butler Yeats. Yeats declares that he will get up and go to Innisfree. He seems to want to get away from the life he was leading in the city. In Innisfree, he will build a small cabin of clay and wattles. He will also plant nine rows of bean plants and build a hive for honeybees. And in this cabin, he will live alone surrounded by the sound of honeybees. In Innisfree, he is certain he will experience peace at all times of the day. In the mornings, when the day dawns slowly and the crickets are singing. In the afternoons, when the sky is filled with a purple glow. In the evenings, when the sound of linnets' wing fills the air. And at midnight, under the glimmering sky, so strong is his longing to return home that Yeats again declares that he will go to Innisfree. Day and night he hears the sound of water gently coming up the shores of the lake. The sound is so profound it calls to his heart when he is standing on dull city pavements. It reminds him of living amidst nature and fills him with a deep desire to return home to a serene, tranquil life away from the noise of the city.